Marijuana, weed, pot, whatever you want to call it. It's really the perfect high, isn't it? To start, it's organic, which of course means that it's good for you. And for lots of people, it provides access to previously blocked creativity or even what appear to be untapped spiritual dimensions of reality. It has all kinds of medicinal properties, which is why it's legal in some states, and it's terrific for relieving stress, there's no doubt about that. And it's also fabulous for getting you checked into the psychiatric hospital. Here on my YouTube channel, Bipolar Waking Up, I've been meeting people since 2007 who've been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, and after talking to well over a thousand people in detail about their experiences, I've come to learn that about 80% of the people that contact me were smoking weed or using some other mind-altering substance prior to their first episode of what psychiatrists call acute psychosis. And unfortunately, the way our society is today, if you get labeled as having bipolar disorder or schizophrenia, to keep these mental disorders under control, you'll receive pretty heavy doses of psychiatric medications, which you'll probably be on for the rest of your life. That is, unless you do something about it. Now, for those of you who've watched my videos, you'll know that I don't necessarily see so-called psychosis as a terrible thing, and in fact, within that non-ordinary state, there can be a genuine opportunity to not only recover completely, but also to heal old wounds from your so-called normal life. For a lot of people, what is currently diagnosed as a mental disorder could become an important part of their own process of spiritual awakening. But in order to heal completely to the point where you no longer relapse into the kind of non ordinary experience which gets you put in the psychiatric hospital, one thing is pretty clear. You're going to need to give up the weed, the LSD, the mushrooms, the peyote, all of those mind-expanding hallucinogenic type of drugs because they're the type that get you put in the psychiatric hospital. Now if you don't believe me, check out this book by Dr. Paris Williams called Rethinking Madness. In it, he provides six case studies of people who were diagnosed with long-term schizophrenia and came to recover completely so that they're not medicated at all and haven't been for years. In all six cases, the people were using marijuana prior to their first episode, and in all six cases, they needed to stop using weed in order to recover completely. And in speaking with people online who have recovered completely from their mental disorder, all of them had to stop using marijuana and other drugs as well. And yes, there's a ton of scientific research regarding the link between marijuana, drugs, and mental disorders, but who wants to read all that? Now, I know there's going to be a lot of skeptics out there who will question what I've got to say on this subject. After all, let's face it, if you're looking for information about marijuana on the internet, what you're going to learn is that ganja is the shit. So, I'll leave it to you. It's pretty simple. Were you using marijuana, LSD, or some other mind-altering substance before your first episode of bipolar disorder or schizophrenia? And are you medicated for life? If you're answering yes to both of these questions, then I think I've made my point. And for those of you who are sincere about complete recovery from your bipolar disorder and genuinely wish to get off your medications, the first steps I can recommend right now are to watch all of my videos and to stop using marijuana and other mind-altering substances. Now, will that be enough to heal you completely? Probably not, but it's a safe place to start.